What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Show and Tech. So what we're doing today is we are testing out how the AirPods Pro and the AirPods Max work for Android users by looking at the top three Android apps that are currently out there in the App Store. For those of you who are interested in getting all the features out of both of these guys while using your Android device. Now the Android device that we're using today is the TCL 10 Pro. So nothing too, too fancy, but at the end of the day, it will still work. Now, before jumping into this, we're gonna get a benchmark to look at the battery life reading that uh, the Apple devices give us, and then compare it to the battery life readings that we get when we're looking at the Android versions. 87% and the AirPods themselves are both full. If I pop one out of the case, like so, it should update. And then again, just to confirm, 87% and both are good to go. And then if we quickly check the AirPods Max, pop that out of the case, open it up, should pop up there, 13%, good to go. So 87 and 13. So jumping onto the TCL now and looking at those Android options. So as I was saying, the App Store, once I find it, or the Play Store, sorry, keep mixing up the names. So jump into the Play Store, which is right here. And the first one that we are going to look at is Android Pods. So to make it easy on yourself, if you quickly just type in AirPods. So here we have the Android Pods app. So like I said, 3.9 rating and 1 million downloads. So I'll hit install on that guy. Sorry, so let's just grab Assistant Trigger first then. So Assistant Trigger is a rated at 3.2 and 1 million downloads, so very popular. There's Assistant Trigger. The next one is Air Battery, so 2.8, and also a million downloads. And then for our premium option, we're gonna go for Air Pop-Up. I guess we could try Pods Battery too, but there's only 50K downloads on it. I'm trying to get the ones that are the most popular for you guys, so uh, Air Pop-Up. Air pop up for 229. Quickly purchase that. Give me one second. All right, and so we've got Air pop up purchase. So we're looking at the AndroPod app, the Air Battery app, the Assistant app, and then finally the Air pop up. So we're going to be looking at these four right here and seeing how they do. So again, remember that on the iPhone, it said we had 87% on the AirPods. Both AirBuds were charged up 100% and then 13% on the AirPods Max. Don't even know if uh, these Android apps are able to pick up the Maxes, but that's what this test is for. So let's jump into it. First, looking at our free download. So starting off with the Android Pods. For correct application work, please grant next permissions. Show overlays and location. So the show overlays, the reason why you want to turn that on is so that it can actually uh, display the battery function over whatever app it is that you have open. So I might as well just turn those on for everything right now, just to make it easier for us. So Air Pop-Up is on, Air Battery is on, uh, Android Pods is on, and finally Assistant Trigger is on. So all of them are now turned on. Also, you need to turn on your location information so we'll say while using the app, sure. So looking at it at first glance, there are some things that are hidden behind a paywall. So voice assistant, voice call, and ear detection are hidden behind pro paywalls. So at some point you're gonna want to unlock the full version as it says here. So unlock full version, one-time payment to support the developer. And that's pretty much it. So right now we can display charge as a notification. We can show the percent in notification in a pop-up window, et cetera. And there's the activate service. So we'll turn that on. So Android Pods is now on. If I jump out to this screen here, I should be able to, in theory, open up my AirPods. So now when I open this up, it should auto detect that it's been opened. And as you can see, it has popped open here but it's saying that there's only 5% battery left on my AirPods Pro case and 5% battery on each of the AirBuds, which is obviously incorrect. If I pop one of these guys out, 
you can see that it doesn't adjust at all. So it's kind of strange that it's showing the incorrect uh, data coming from the Andro Pods app, which is one that is asking you for a premium subscription. So kind of weird that it's not showing the correct information. Again, let's pop it open and see if it adjusts. And for some reason, it's still saying 5% and 5%. And if we look at it here in the notifications, oh, I've got a lot of stuff open. So it's being kind of wonky, but it's showing 85% and 100. So the second one where it's flashing back and forth is actually correct. But for some reason, it's unable to show me the correct one all the time. So again, talking about how when we get these devices on Apple products, they just work. Well, obviously, since they're built for that ecosystem specifically, but still upsetting to see that the Android version can't keep up. And then when I open the AirPods Max, it doesn't show up properly. So it shows Shamar's AirPods Max here, but it's showing it as uh, regular AirPods where the percentage again is way off. So now it looks like it was showing the percentage from my AirPods Pro, which is kind of weird but it's calling it the AirPods Max. So right off the bat, just looking at those two features without going into the premium mode, it seems like the AndroPods app to me is no bueno. So let's delete that and move on to the next one, which is the Air Battery. All right, so jumping into the Air Battery app here. So location permission, which I thought I already granted, but uh, looks like it's good. Um, disable any power savers, we can just ignore that. So here are the options that it has. It has the AirPods Gen 2, AirPods Pro. There is no option for the AirPods Max yet. So I'll click on AirPods Pro. I'll unclick the Gen 2, but if you have any of these, then you're pretty much good to go apparently. Please activate Bluetooth location service and open your case. So case is open. And boom, there you go. So this one here is actually showing it correctly. There are some ads there, which is annoying, but I assume that you're able to pay for an ad free version. So if we let that go, open it up one more time. It's actually pretty responsive. It got there pretty quickly. Let's jump into the settings and see what we can do. So again, there are lots of, oops. Again, there are, so it only wants to work while this is open, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so again, there are a couple of things if this app would just work. There are a couple of things here that are hidden behind a paywall as well. So close app with some delay, hide app from recent tasks, uh, show notification, maximal update frequency are all hidden. But you do have some options here like the ear detection, which is pretty cool, uh, but no option to switch between A and C and the ambient sound mode. So keep that in mind. This app does look a lot cleaner than the last one and obviously has been showing a much uh, much more accurate number. So the API is actually working correctly. However, there are some issues there with this popping up and being a little bit wonky. So that is air battery. The next one is still unpaid. So another free app, which is I believe assistant trigger which again, already you can see, go pro to unlock features. But we're not worried about that right now. So location's turned on. So this has a lot of stuff that's locked behind a paywall right off the bat. So that ear detection is not gonna be in this app. Uh, show percentage status bar icon, I guess we could turn that on if we wanted to. Once we open this, because they all seem to want the case to be open in order for you to scroll through the app. <coughs> Excuse me. In order for you to scroll through the app, which is kind of annoying, but you can see it there. The battery data took a long time and is incorrect. So 5%, 15 and 5%, which we know to be wrong. Uh, so the ear detection, like we said, is hidden and all the good stuff is hidden. So triggering your assistant is hidden behind that $2 paywall. And then again, you don't have options for the ANC or the ambient sound mode, but the app does look pretty clean. And I imagine that if you did spend that $2.59, then you probably wouldn't be too upset about it. Let's see how it deals with opening the AirPods Max. I assume it's not gonna work at all, but can still try and see. 
Oh, nice. So the AirPods Max, even though they weren't an option, they do show up. The percentage is off by, what's that, like 8%. It's saying that we've got 5% on it. Now it's saying 15. But the fact that it shows up is pretty nice. That's the first app of these that's actually been able to register it properly. So if you are an AirPods Max user who happens to be an Android user, shame on you, but it will actually work. All right, so that's the Assistant Trigger. Not a bad app, seems to be pretty clean. Seems very similar to the Air Pop-Up, but that's neither here nor there. So this is the last one that we're gonna look at. This one is a paid app. I think I just paid $2.50 for it um, during the video. I can't remember the price to be honest, but Air Pop-Up, I'm expecting big things from this one considering it is the premium or the only premium app that we've looked at so far. So set up, there are just a few permissions needed to use the app which we already did. So the location, I already allowed it, but as usual, you gotta do it again. Draw over other apps, I already allowed. Microphone, audio, sure. Notification access, sure. Annoying that you have to do all this, but you only have to do it once. And then if your AirPods are inside the case, open it up now. If not, place them inside, close the lid, and wait for them to disconnect so they are Let's open the case up, see what happens. Setup has completed. So set version, first gen, second gen, these are the pros from 2019. And as you would expect, being that you paid for this app, this one is the one that does look the cleanest, but still that API is off, it's not showing the right percentages. So it's saying that there is 0% battery on the case, 15% uh, battery on the left earbud and zero on the right for some reason. Now, let's see what happens if I close the case, maybe back out of the app completely, and then just reopen it. So for some reason, I'm unable to, sorry, TCL hasn't mastered the <laughs> swipe gestures yet apparently, because it's not letting me. But let's see here. So again, battery life, open it up and it's still coming in incorrect and even in the pop-up at the bottom incorrect so 15 percent on the left earbud zero and zero it's not doing that wonky update like the last one did but it does also show up here in your notification drop down so once it does start showing correctly that'll be nice to have that option where you don't need to flip it open in order to see you can just swipe down from the notifications panel and take a look at it or even while the panel's open if i open it I'm assuming that all that information is gonna come back, as you can see there. Still wrong, but I mean, hey, maybe it's user error, maybe I just need to fix some of the settings uh, in order to take a look. But we've got ear detect that we can turn on, we've got listen assist, we've got this option to show the pop-up if you wanted to, or you can just keep it in that notification pull-down. Me personally, I would probably keep it in the pull-down while I'm using my Android phone um, when I'm using my Apple phones, so my iPhones, um, it's a lot easier because it just shows up in one of the widgets that I place on the home screen. Sorry, so this widget, oh wait, I took it off, there we go. This widget right here shows the battery life of all of, of my devices. So I don't really care about flicking it open or not. It's right there and available to me. And then same thing when I'm using my uh, Apple Watch, I'm able to check there. So missing a lot of functionality when you compare it to the options that you would get if you were to use your AirPods on an iPhone, but it's still nice to see that you do have some options to make the transition a little, a little more seamless, a little more user-friendly for those of you on the Android side. Now, me personally, the only reason why I own the AirPods Pro is because I have Apple devices. If I didn't have any Apple device, like I've got a MacBook, I've got an iPad, if I didn't have any of those, I would probably stay away from the AirPods Pro and the AirPods Max, just because you lose out on so many of the features like spatial audio, the ability to switch between ANC and ambient sound mode, the ability to see an accurate battery reading, like all those things start adding up over time. <clears throat> all those things start adding up over time. And the fact that 
there's the auto switch functionality. So if I'm using my iPhone and I open up my MacBook, it automatically switches my audio input to that. So I'm not having to manually add a new Bluetooth device and do all those things. It just automatically switches in between whatever it is I'm using. But luckily there's tons of options out there for Android users who don't care about uh, using AirPods or are on the fence about using AirPods. So I guess there's that. But at the end of the day, we took a look at the top three uh, free options for those of you who want to use AirPods on an Android device. And we took a look at one of the top paid options right out of the gate. So I know all of them had that option to pay once you've downloaded the free app, but we went straight to the premium section, grabbed the Air Pop-Up app, which is highly rated, only had 50K downloads, but that's because of the price. And as you can see, it does work pretty well, but it does have a few hiccups. So hopefully you're able to play with it and get an accurate battery life reading. And you know maybe in the future, they'll be able to add a couple more features because right now it is pretty limited, although it does still look the best and the cleanest out of all of the apps that we took a look at. So if this video is useful to you, please feel free to leave a thumbs up for me, us small channels, we need love too. If you really liked it, feel free to drop a subscribe. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.